Right, welcome to Dragon Age Origins, and look, it's that fade section that everybody loves so much! Yay! So, whenever the question comes up about which sections of Dragon Age people don't like, or don't enjoy, or actively despise, the fade section in Origins always comes up, without fail. So much so that there is genuinely a mod you can install to skip it. Which I find very sad, because I actually quite enjoy the fade section. So I thought, why not try and show it off in a good light? Because it can actually be very fun once you get your head around how it all works. Uh, I think the main reason people don't like it is because it can seem quite confusing. You can end up going in circles if you don't know where you're going, and it can end up taking you much longer than it needs to. So I've come up with what I think is a pretty solid order in which to do things that will get you through quite quickly and quite easily. In fact, I'm going to time myself to see how long it actually takes me. And um, Doctor Who's on in two hours, so I've actually given myself quite a tight time load. And hopefully, once you've got a path to follow where you don't have to worry about getting lost, you can start to enjoy all the fun things about the Fade, like turning into a golem and punching demons in the face, but we'll get to that later. Uh, quick intro, this is Elia. She's my city elf warden. She is a warrior. You can see she's got the sword and shield there. Uh, I have no idea how I've leveled her. I haven't played the game through to this point recently. This is just a save file that I've jumped into. So I've got no idea how she's leveled, nor do I know which companions I have with me. So that'll be fun to figure out along the way. Uh, I believe we are playing on hard. Oh, we're on nightmare. Oh, I thought we were on hard. Um, you know what? I'll just knock it down to hard. <laughs> Because hard's like my default. Nightmare is when I'm giving myself a bit of a challenge. Hard's my default. So we'll stick with that. Uh, so, timer starts now, and then we'll go and have a wee chat with Duncan. Ah, there you are. I'm not disturbing you, am I? I'm sure you were simply deep in thought. You've been at Weishaupt for some time now. Do you like it here? Yes, it looks remarkably like Ostagar. Funny, that isn't it? Almost like this was some kind of dream or something. Everything is as it should be. We have eradicated the darkspawn, and the world is at peace. Yes, yeah, so Duncan here is trying to persuade us to uh, stay in this wonderful dream that he's constructed for us. He's trying to come up with a scenario where we would want to stay here forever and never leave. To be honest, I think he's gone with an odd choice. What he's decided that is the best way to get Elia to stay here forever is to put her in a really bleak, miserable fortress with him and the dog spawner all dead and she now has no purpose in life. Bit of a weird choice, personally. It's not even a very pretty fortress. I feel like he could have at least made the effort to put some furniture in. Maybe a nice buffet. Something like that. Foolish child. I have given you so much and you cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? Yes, so surprise, surprise, that is not really Duncan. You can tell because he's got a shield instead of two daggers. Uh, oh, also the fact he's dead, that's probably quite a clue as well. So we'll take out the mage first, because I hate mages. They heal people. Yes, one slight downside of the fade. No one drops anything, since none of the enemies are actually real. They just... All imaginary, and we can have some delicious, delicious lyrium. Uh, there we go. The lyrium, I believe all it does is restore your health and your mana if you're a mage. I don't know if it restores your stamina. We'll find that out. Uh, but if you need it, like, in the middle of a battle, it's one of those things that compensates for the fact that you're on your own. And there's the Black City. Uh, I do love that the Black City genuinely appears in every area of the Fade in all of the games, wherever you are. If you're in the Fade, you can see the Black City. I love it when, you know, little bits of lore actually fit with the game. Anyway, if we go to the pedestal. So, this is the Fade. And these are all the worlds, and we will have to work our way through each one of them. Each one of these ones, defeating a demon in each. Um, in order to open up a path to the centre where we'll defeat the Sloth Demon that has us all enslaved and these are where our companions are and like i say i've worked out a pretty solid path for what order in which to do things you will pick up different forms that you can transform into which will get you into new areas we'll go through all of that but first off we head to the raw fade which is the first one uh, where we will meet neal who are you where did you come from are you a demon no but i see that you're not you're like me Congratulations on getting out of that trap. So Neol was just telling us how it all works. Basically that there are 
um, lesser demons on each of the islands that we have to defeat to get to the main one, and there are obstacles that we will need certain forms to get past. For example, this is a spirit door, and I can't get through it because I'm not a spirit. However, if I gained the ability to turn into a spirit, I would be able to get through it. So, first thing we're going to do is go through this area. We're not going to be able to complete this area, but we will be able to pick up one of the forms. So we'll go and do that quickly first. And we'll get attacked by a rage demon, naturally. That should be alright. Most of the enemies are um, much like easier to defeat in the Fade because you're on your own. So as much as a rage demon would might be quite a major problem normally, uh, it's not as much of a problem now. And I'm on fire. That's quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> You're too late for me. Kill Yavina, the demoness that rules here. She protects her master, Sloth. There's a door. A door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my... <laughs> quite enjoy how I was just on fire for that whole cutscene. Um, yes. So, that was a mouse. I don't know if it was... Oh, do you think that was mouse from the uh, Mage Origin? I don't know. No, he turned out to be a demon or something, didn't he? I can't remember. Anyway, um, yeah, so we can now turn into a mouse. So here we are. These are our four forms. We only have one of them at the minute. We turn into a mouse. And now each of the forms has special abilities. Only a few. Um, and the mouse is, is stealth, that's all you can do. You can hide from things, you can't attack things or anything like that. You can just sneak past them. But you can go through little mousy holes. And we go through a little mousy hole, and we end up here. And then if we turn back, we've got another rage demon to defeat. That should be no bother at all. There we go. So you can see the fact that I'm getting so little XP from them, they're really not very strong at all. Um, which doesn't make a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> since they're sort of demons and things like that, but... Luckily, the uh, Sloth Demon is holding us here is being very kind and sending only small enemies after us. So yes, this is just a linear path. You'll find that most of the Fade is actually just linear paths. There isn't really much chance to get lost once you know where you're going. The reason you get lost is because there are doors you can't go through and things. But like I say, once you've figured out the right order, there's a spirit door there that we'll get to later. Um, that's a shade. Did he just steal blood from me? That's very rude. Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Go on. Hit him. L. Hit him. Hit him. Come on. I believe in you. There we go. Hit. Yes. Now you're on fire. Excellent. <laughs> Come on. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now you're very on fire. Okay. I am quite short on health potions as well. I didn't notice that. All right. Should be fine. I might die a couple of times. That usually happens in the fade just because you're on your own. Um, so that's fine. Okay, three health potions later and we got him. Two health potions? I think it was just two, but I'm now out of just regular health potions. So this is an excellent start, isn't it? Uh, luckily though, once you get the forms you can turn into, dying will be much less frequent. I could have used the lyrium! Damn it! Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. There we go. You see, she's alright when she actually hits things, isn't she? And uh, I'll just... You know what? I'll just let my health grow back because I can't remember if there's anything behind there that wants to kill me. So uh, just give me a minute. Okay, no, we are back to Nihal. Something happened, didn't it? You look a little different. What happened? Yes, I turned into a mouse. Did you? Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? You're so much braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Do you think you could learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise. Yeah, so Nial's basically a bit of a defeatist who doesn't actually want to try and do anything, and because I'm the protagonist, I have to come along and fix everything. So, if we now move to the portal. Nah, pedestal, whatever. Right. So, we have not completed this world because there is a demon here that we currently can't get to because it's behind that spirit door. So, what I would suggest is that you don't even bother trying to fight any of the demons until you have all four forms. More than anything, it's just simpler that way. 
if you go to each world that has a form, you go through until you get that form to turn into, and then you just immediately jump to the next world. Don't bother trying to complete one when before you have all of the forms, because I think they all have all four types of obstacles. I'm not entirely sure. Um, some of them might not have the fire, now I'm thinking about it. But uh, anyway, regardless, don't bother trying to fight all of the, any of the demons or completing any of the um, islands until you have all the forms. So I can tell you now that the mouse is up here, the burning man is in the burning tower, the golem is in the mages asunder, and the arcane horror that'll get me through the spirit door is in the darkspawn invasion. Now this is the order I'm going to do things in. We're going to nip to the burning tower first, because the enemies in there are quite easy to defeat. Uh, and then once we've got the Burning Man, we are going to nip down to the Mages Asunder and deal with that, because that is, as you can imagine, full of Mages, and the Burning Man is very good at dealing with the Mages because he's immune to fire, and they mostly just f throw fireballs at you. Um, you can also throw fireballs as the Burning Man, but they are not immune to fire, so <laughs> it actually works out quite well. Then we're going to nip to the Darkspawn Invasion, because the Golem is incredibly good at punching Darkspawn, and we're going to get the Arcane Horror. From there, we're just going to work our way through methodically and complete them all because by that point it should be pretty easy. I mean, you're basically untouchable at that point. You shouldn't die much or anything after that. So nip to the Burning Tower first. Um, I think the Burning Tower is probably the easiest. Uh, I mean, you could go to the Darkspawn invasion first, I suppose, if you wanted, but we're going to stick to the plan. So, a couple of tips. Firstly, check the map often. Um, the map will tell you things like some of them have different sections. You'll got like the first section and the third section and the second section, um, and they'll have little map markers to tell you what's where. They also tell you where the mouse holes are and uh, the spirit doors and the other obstacles and things. And it just helps you keep track of where you are, especially in some of the ones where it's easy to end up going in circles. So whenever there's a mouse hole, we will nip through the mouse hole. I should mention I don't have this memorised or anything. I mean, I might get lost. <laughs> Who knows? I have no idea where this mouse hole goes, but uh, we're about to find out. Ah, yes, it goes to one of the little rooms. Quite often the mouse holes will lead to these little rooms that just give you a um, attribute increase, which is another cool thing about the Fade. You get a hell of a lot of permanent attribute in increases. Although I believe if you install the mod to skip it, you still get the attribute increases. Um, but don't install the mod, it's really fun. Unless you really, really hate it, in which case, fine, install the mod, fair enough. Right. If we head into here, and I believe we're about to get jumped. Are we about to get jumped? No. Fire, right. Yes. Burning Templars. Let them run through the fire. Don't run into the fire. That would be stupid. Let them come to you. I don't know if they actually do fire damage to you. I, I mean, they might. Like, their swords don't seem to be on fire. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. She seems pretty resistant to fire. I mean, the rage demons weren't... Oh, God. Weren't doing um, that much damage to her. They were doing quite a bit of damage, but not that much. And there we go. So these are one of the walls of fire that I can't currently cross. I don't think there's anything over there, though. No. And like I say, enemies don't drop anything. Ooh, there's a mouse hole. Always go through a mouse hole. It looks like it leads to the next room. So quite often there are multiple ways of getting into rooms. You don't always have to. Um, it does mean that you don't actually have to have all four forms for all four worlds, but I just find it easier. It's easier to keep track of where you are. Um, if you can open all the obstacles and stuff, it just makes it much less complicated. And this is the Chantry. Yeah, so this is basically just a mock-up of the uh, Circle Tower. Only all, like, fady and wibbly. Uh, I have his, her, her hair. I have heard people say that um, the reason they don't like the fade is because of the blurry effects at the side makes them kind of nauseous. I kind of agree with that. Um, I get quite bad motion sickness in games as well, like first-person games particularly. Third-person games I'm usually fine with, but the weird wibbly effect does affect me a little bit, so I do kind of agree with that. And more burning Templars, marvellous. There we go. I have to say, the combat <laughs> suddenly becomes quite boring when you don't have Morrigan with you. Like, I mean, I love the combat in Origins. I know there are divided opinions, but uh, I happen to really enjoy the combat in Origins. But without Morrigan, it is quite boring. I do usually just immediately switch to Morrigan the moment it starts. And there's a lot of fire, so uh, that's why I had to come through this way. And that's one of the doors you need the golems for. 
Um, yes, it would require a massive force to break, like, say, a giant boulder being thrown at it by a golem. So we'll head up this way. So if we just follow, I don't think you need to go through any of the fire or anything. Dogs. Dogs and Templars. Those ones always catch me out, sneaking around the corner. That dog is doing no damage to me at all. That is, the enemies are really, really weak in the fade. I think just because you're on your own. Dogs are usually really tough. These ones, not so much. Mind you, they are on fire. Maybe that's negatively affecting them. Watch this one. This one will kill me. Now I've said that. No, oh, that one went down pretty easily as well. Okie dokie. Now, we are completely boxed in by fire. I think the only way out is through that mouse hole. I also think there might be things hiding around the corner to kill me. Hold on a minute. There we go. Yup. Oh, I know all your tricks, Dragon Age. I've played this enough times, don't you worry. And no problem there. Burning Tower, very easy, simple starting point um, before you have any of the abilities. So if we turn into a mouse and we nip through here and hopefully it leads us somewhere useful because like I say, I can't actually remember. Must control anger. Yes. So this is who we get the uh, Burning Man from, but he will attack us first. So if we just turn back. And one of the annoying things is that when you transform it, Bloody disables your ability, so shield wall's now inactive. It's very annoying. L, attack him. L, go on. There we go. Go on. Oh, wow. Okay, this is bad. Right. <laughs> I might be about to die. I also haven't saved recently. There we go. Health potion. Um, who's the bigger threat? Uh, right, we'll take out him. Come on. I am very on fire right now. And it's not hurting me as much as you think it would. Come on, just hit him. Just hit him. Just uh, right, we can put that back up. Just hit him. Yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. Fading. I am free. Take Ragos's power. Use it and burn him. Burn them all. He guards sloth. He bars the way. You must. Destroy the door. Other dreamers. Other powers. Only way. <sighs> yeah, so killing him actually killed the demon. I totally forgot about that, and I am very on fire. Right, so we can now turn into the Burning Man, who's quite cool. Here we go, and he can set people on fire. He has a uh, fireball, and he has flame blast. I don't use flame blast that much, but fireball is very useful. He's also immune to fire, which is incredibly useful. And it's the only form where you still have access to your uh, weapons. Right. So we haven't finished this world. We haven't defeated the demon in this world, for example. We, there are lots of little areas we haven't been into because we can't get into them yet. But we're just going to ignore it for the time being and we're going to head straight on into the mages asunder. Which is actually quite a bit of a bit of foreshadowing there, now I think about it, the mages asunder. <laughs> Do you think they planned that far ahead? I mean, I know they planned quite far ahead when they were writing Dragon Age. <laughs> Do you, think, do you think I planned the title of that book when they were writing this particular part of Origins? I'm going to guess not. Uh, right, so that's a door we can't get through. Mousy holes! Now, if you go to the map, you can sometimes figure out where mouse holes will lead. Yes, so that mouse hole is probably going to lead over there, and that looks like it's going to be a separate room with an attribute point in it. Um, paused. Um, so we'll go through that one first. Which one did I say? Was it that one? Yeah. Yes, so you can see. So you can usually figure out where the mouse holes are going to go. Like I say, check the map a lot. That will really help you to not get lost. Um, I do like all the kind of abstract with all the bookcases sort of hanging off the walls and things. Is there not one room where the, all the furniture's on the ceiling or something? Is that something I remember? Can't remember, we'll find out. Um, yes, so that's a door I could get through. That's a door I can't get through, but that's a mouse hole, so we'll go through that one first. Uh, actually, it looks like it just leads into the next room, doesn't it? Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can get through the door. Because the thing about Origins is you want to try and draw the enemies out and bring them to you. It's, it's best not to, like, end up in the middle of them. So if there's enemies in there... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now, they're going to try and fireball me to death. They're also going to electrocute me, which I am not... Um, immune to but if i just put a nice fireball there you see i'm totally immune to it so he's gonna die quite easily because mages are not immune to fire and go 
and he goes down very quickly. Oh. So I suddenly become very strong. I'm also dying. I do realise that. So I'm just going to quickly jump back and go and... Um... There we go. And now I'm frozen, but I'm alive. Just, I'm just alive. Which is good because I have two health potions. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's going to be fun. But I haven't died yet, so that's a plus. Uh, the mages are a lot tougher than the um, burning templars are, though. Nothing exciting in here. Uh, there's quite a few codex entries in the, um, the Fade. I keep forgetting about the Lurian Veins. Yeah, there's quite a few codex entries in the Fade, so it's worth always checking wherever you go. I think, are they about to have an argument? I know, the mages are all kind of crazy. That's sort of the theme of this whole world. You know what? <sighs> I thought I could sneak up on them. I'm just going to send a nice fireball in there. Don't you dare rejuvenate him. That's not fair. Right. You can just die if you're gonna be all healy. Stop healing! No, healing's cheating. Healing's a thing only I should be allowed to do. I'm the protagonist. Ow! All right, you've asked for it, sweetheart. There we go, have a fireball. There we go. And now he's on fire. And just in case he isn't warm enough, we'll just add a little bit extra. Oh, for flaming hell's sake! Stop it! I hate it when enemies heal in games. That is not a thing enemies should be allowed to do. That is totally a protagonist perk. And that's a glowy thing that I can't click on. Uh, yes. There we go, you see. And that is History of the Circle. There we go. We won't read that. I know the History of the Circle. I've played a lot of Dragon Age. Anyway. Um... Yes, I believe that is the room where they're all arguing. Possibly. Is that the one? There we go. So simple. We kill. Kill everyone. How delightful. Yeah. So they've all gone mad and they're now going to kill each other. So I'm just going to leave them to it. <laughs> and, uh, see, two of them are gone. Um, I think they're still attacking each other. Yeah. See what happens. How you do? Ooh, there we go. Are you the only one? You're the only one left. And you're very, very... This is probably overkill. <laughs> I probably didn't need a fireball, but I quite enjoy it. Right, so now they're gone. Yes. So I don't know whether these are, like, dreaming mages, or whether they've been... Because I, mean, I think I think the whole point is that um, all of these islands are filled up with dreamers who have been taken by the sloth demon. And they've all just gone a bit mad. So I think all of these are actual mages who are stuck here like me, but they've just gone crazy and started killing each other. I think, or either that or they're demons, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I believe this is the room where I'm going to die. I should not have just put, go back into the Burning Man form. I, I think this is the room that's full of mages who usually kill me. Oh no, this is the servants. Okay. Servants act a bit like assassins for some reason. They're quite... Yeah, there we go. Bursting out of nowhere. Things like that. Um, knocked myself over there, but it didn't hurt me. Uh, just hit him with your sword. Could be fine. Or, or miss. That works too. There we go. Oh, did that not kill you? Flipping heck. Tougher than the flipping Templars were. Uh, there we go. And again, I don't know if those are like actual servants for the circle who are meant to be dreaming here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know whether the circle has servants. Do they just have... I mean, I would assume they would just use the tranquil for um, servanty things. Probably wouldn't. Not big on letting outsiders in, I wouldn't have thought, because, you know, magic, ooh, scary, dangerous, all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, there we go. I knew there was another one. I bloody knew it. There we go. You can die. Although they are actually surprisingly resistant to fire. Who would have thought? Although, I mean, you know, if they're servants working with mages, you would have to become resistant to fire, wouldn't you? Just as a precaution. Uh, we have now been going for half an hour, so it is now an hour and a half to Doctor Who. I, I think I think I could do this before Doctor Who. Right. Um, now, is the... Ah, yes. <sighs> yeah, this, this is the room where I'm going to die, and if I don't die in this room, I'll definitely die in the next one. Because the moment I step through here... I believe some rage demons are going to turn up. And the trouble with rage demons is, although I'm immune to fire in my current stage, so are they. So uh, I can't really hurt them. And we end up in a bit of a 
stalemate. I wonder if I could lead them through to the mages. Ooh, I've never tried that. Should we try that? Hang on. There we go. So there they come. And then if I just open up here. Oh, and lead them through here. Maybe they'll all attack each other. Are the mages going to attack the demons? It would be great if the mages would attack the demons. Could the mages please attack the demons? Uh, are you just... Uh, are you going to attack the demons? I don't think they're attacking... No. These... No, they're not attacking the demons. That's not a thing. And now I'm dying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well. Okay. I tell you what. We won't try that again. So here they come. Out of their magic fireplace teleporters. I was going to use whatever the ones are called in Harry Potter, but I can't actually remember. Um, the flu powder network. That was it. Right. So just make sure I'm... In Oh, actually, I do a pretty fair amount of damage as the Burning Man. Uh, yeah, that's fine. This is not half as much of a drama as I made it out to be. So, <laughs> they just... <sighs> Last time I tried to be clever. Right. Oh, there's more. I forgot about the other ones. Okay. Yeah, this is fine, actually. I don't even need any of my uh, shield bash or anything like that. Okay. So, that room's easier than I remember it. I remember dying in this room so much. Maybe that was the first time I played this. That's actually entirely possible. Right. This room, though, this room's going to kill me. I mean, it did before. Right. You know, when I led the friggin' demons through. I tell you what it's been that'll kill me. It'll be chain lightning. Oh, chain lightning is the worst thing. There we go. Is that coming for me? Yeah. Look, look at that. Flip it. See, that, that is all from chain lightning. Um, Lyrium. There we go. Did he just launch a fireball at me? Ah, uh, stupid idiot. See? Immune. I think he killed his friend as well. I don't think I killed him. <laughs> Mind you, they're all turning on each other, so I don't think they're friends. Yeah. Yeah, they're just all attacking each other. Um. Alright. Ooh, you're using frost against me. That's not fair. You're meant to be using fire. I'm good with fire. See? There we go. <laughs> and should be able to just finish you off. Don't heal. Healing's not fair. Healing's cheating. I'm about to friggin' die as well. There we go. Don't heal. There we go. See? Easy. Didn't die. Because I didn't try to be clever. I just, you know, played it the proper way. I don't know why I ever thought that that would be a good idea. Um, There's another one. Right. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can run away and get my health back. Because I really don't want to waste one of my precious, precious health potions. Am um, I far enough away yet? I should be. There we go. Let my health recharge. Yes, I don't know why I ever thought that that would be a good idea. I mean, my advice for Origins is always split the enemies up. Make sure you're fighting as few enemies at a time as possible. <laughs> you know, just lure them away so you're only fighting small groups. Why I thought that grouping them all together would be a good idea, it goes against all of my own advice. And I think it's just the one. There you go. And I'll just hit her with a sword. Should be fine. And there we go. Ah, don't try and heal on me, cheeky bastard. And there was another Lyrium vein. Oh, did it respawn? Oh, Delirium Veins respawn. I didn't know that. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I can't remember what comes next in this room. Oh, I think it's more mages trying to kill each other. Uh, yes, I believe so. If he's just sneaking, we might be able to hear him. Yeah, something about pain and magic inflicting pain and something. It's very difficult to hear what they're saying. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. It's very difficult to hear what they're saying. Oh, God, okay. Um, that's what I meant to do. Um, ooh, okay. Yeah, you inferno me all you want, love. That's absolutely fine. I have no problem with that. You're also killing your friends, so even better. There we go. Is that Flemeth? No, I think she just has the same hair as I... From it, I thought that was Flemeth. Right, there we go. 
and they just ran away. Okay. And she just knocked herself over. They're basically just committing suicide. There we go. Didn't hurt me in the slightest. Yes, I remember dying in this room so many times and like trying to avoid all of the um, infernos and backing myself into a corner and just relying on this to try and keep me alive and getting so frustrated, trying it for like over 20 minutes and then suddenly realizing I could just turn into the burning man and be completely immune to fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit slow on the uptake sometimes, but um, once I caught on and there's a floating book. The Cardinal Rules of Magic. Yes, I know all about them as well. Like I say, played this game before. And I believe if we nip up here... Oh, okay. Yes, there's a Golem and a Cursed Dreamer. Um, I can't remember if we can hurt the Cursed Dreamer. Let's hope not. And I'm fighting Chantry Priests for whatever reason. I don't know why I'm fighting Chantry Priests, but I am. Now, how do golems handle fire? Because I've got plenty of fire. Oh, they're actually quite weak to fire. That's good. Okay. Just deal with you. Don't try and hit me. There we go. You just keep missing. That's fine. Right. And then we have a weed shot with this guy. Thank you. It is time for this dream to come to an end. I give you my strength. It will be of little use against the demon that rules here, but perhaps it will help in other realms. Find a way to kill all the demon lords to open the way to sloth. Free us all from this nightmare. Oh. Yeah, so that's just him telling us how to play the game again, in case we haven't already figured it out. Um, which, to be fair, on my first time, I totally didn't. And now we've got the golem. And the golem is the best thing. I am just a golem now, forever. I love the golem. It's amazing, particularly when fighting demons. Oh, and I love his big stompy footsteps. That's my favourite thing about having Shale in the party. Just stomping around Orzammar with the big echoey footsteps. Right. Now. I am going to go against my own advice. You remember how I said that once you get a form, instantly move on and don't bother backtracking? I'm going to go totally against that because there was a massive door down here and I don't think there's anything particularly important but oh it's the entrance oh okay in that case <laughs> it's totally unnecessary there we go now we're back at the entrance so I haven't gone against my own advice at all right and now we will head to dark spawn invasion don't go to the Templar's Nightmare before you have every form. That is how I got incredibly lost the first time I did it. Because I just kind of went round them in order. Um, and I, I'm i pretty sure there's spirit doors and things that you need to get through. And it didn't occur to me that I might actually need to be a spirit to get through them. Uh, yes, so this is the Darkspawn invasion. There's lots of dead people in, like, Ferelden armour. Uh, I'm assuming each of the worlds is based on, like, what is in people's heads. So you've got, you know, the tower is burning, the darkspawn are invading, the mages are going mad, Templars, things like that. Um, we are just going to nip through. I don't know where that mouse hole goes. We're just going to nip through and have a wee look-see. Because it's always a good plan to go through mouse holes when you find them. And... Oh, yes, I believe. Right, I think I think that takes us to a different part of the main bit, and this one takes us to an attribute point. Can't quite remember. We'll have a look. Where are we? No, this one takes us to a different point. Okay, back through. Hang on. Right. Where did that take us? That take us... That took us to there. Right, so if you want to skip all of that, this... Can just go through there. I don't particularly want to skip all of that. Um, I can't remember what's in there. Possibly just dark spawn. But if we nip through here. Ah, yes, here we go. This is the attribute point. More cunning. Uh, I got cunning last time as well, I think. And then we're going to head back to the beginning because I don't want to skip bits. I'm just funny like that. Okay, fun thing about being a golem. This is my. This is the entire reason that you should play the Fade, right? This this is it. This is why you should play the Fade. 
There we go! <laughs> it's one of the most fun things in the whole game. Seriously. And then and then we can just do a nice... There we go. There is nothing more satisfying in life. And more... Oh, is that an alpha? No, it's not. Damn it. It's so much more satisfying if it was an alpha. Oh, I mean, he looks like an alpha. He's got the helmet on. They're usually alphas, aren't they? Oh, that's an emissary. You know what I say to emissaries? Punch. There we go. It's just so satisfying. There we go. So, as you can see, once you're the golem, things don't really trouble you anymore. Although, I am being slightly killed. So that should wear off sharpish. And you've got a lot of health as a golem as well. So um, my lack of health potion shouldn't be too much of a problem anymore. Except maybe in the final battle, but we'll get to that later. Yes, so you need the Burning Man to get through this bit, so if you didn't have the Burning Man at this point, you could go through the mouse hole. So there are ways of getting around things if you don't have all the forms, but, like I say, it's generally better just to get them all and then deal with everything else. There's a nice cluster of dark spawn, and there's an emissary, so we'll aim for him. There we go. I think... Did that just take him out? Oh, I think he's just alive. He's probably going to heal himself as well. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, come on. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. This works so much better when you actually hit him. There we go. No, come on. Come on. <laughs> I have to admit, the golem is like about maybe 30% really awesome punching and about 70% ineffectual flailing. Another mouse hole. I don't know where that is. I think that's another attribute point. Can't remember. Just nip through and have a wee look-see. Um, ooh. Okay. Well, back to Gollum. I could probably have stuck past them, but where's the fun in that? Alright, big boulder. Punch the ground. Quite enjoy it. You can kill people just by punching the ground in front of them. Um, is there anything in here? There is nothing in here. There was absolutely no point in doing that. I could just have snuck past them. But, you know, I got a measly amount of experience for it, so that's something, I suppose. Ooh. Ooh, it saved my game. I don't like it when it does that. Why did it save my game? Where's it going to take me? I'm suddenly very hesitant to go through this mouse hole. Um, okay, I think it's just going to cut out this bit and take me through to there, possibly. I don't know what's in there. It might be the arcane horror. We'll have a look-see. And there it is, yeah. Going to attack me? Is anyone going to attack me? Is anything going to do anything? Hey, there we go. I don't know why they were all spirity there, but, you know, maybe they're spirits. That would explain it, wouldn't it? It's very unlikely that they're dark spawn trapped in the dream. Um, get nice and close to a big earthquake. They're gone. You, you did it. You killed them, but not all. Their leaders are behind the unbreakable door. I give you my wisdom. It will let you see. And now I wake. Okay, so that is 54 minutes we have been going for, and we have all four forms, and we've done a pretty good chunk of three of the worlds. Um, right, I was about to nip back through there, but we've got all four, so we could finish off this one and uh, defeat the demon. And now we've got all four, you get through it so quickly. Honestly, you can just blast through them. Uh, oh, yes. Right, this is the big room before the demon, and here we're going to employ... Dragon Age Origins tactic number one, which is let them come to you. Never just run into a room full of enemies. Always try and pick them off one at a time. Let them kind of filter through to you in small groups. So we're just going to go to here. And then we're just going to wait. Just until they get nice and close. There we go. Because the other ones, they'll just stay at the back and wait for us. Because they're very conscientious like that. Ooh. Wow, that was... Okay. And now no other ones are going to filter through because they just they just decide to come in one at a time. See, they're just standing there, just watching their friends get killed. 
Oh, here comes in another one. There we go. And just let him get to us. And punch. Yeah, never let enemies draw you away either. If they start running or backing off or anything, you just stay where you are because they'll have to come back to you eventually. Right. I, oh no, he's coming. I thought I was going to have to... You're going to come in? Come on. You, okay. Tell you what, how about take a rock to the face? Then see what happens. And there you go. He's an emissary, but he doesn't seem to have magic. That looks distinctly like a sword. I thought all the emissaries had magic. This is the Fade. Maybe the rules are different here. I don't know. Oop! Someone just knocked me over! <laughs> that was interesting. Okay. Now if we just throw a big rock into the mix, because I believe the golem is actually immune to the rock's effects. Yeah, so they all go flying. There he is. And then big slam. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> he just lightly taps me with his shield and I fall over, apparently. That's fine. And then there's just one left standing at the back, just looking at the corpses of all of his dead friends. How do you fancy your chances, sweetheart? Now, through that door is a demon, and I can't remember which one it is. I have a feeling it's the ogre. Now, if it's the ogre, that's like the toughest one, apart from the last one. Um, and the only one that causes any real trouble for the golem. Because the other ones the golem can just kill, and it's fine. Um, I can't entirely remember which one it is, though. Oh! Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm misremembering completely. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah, it's the ogre. Right. I'll just just draw him out. <laughs> I might die here. I should probably have saved. Right. Yes. So as you can see, the rock doesn't work quite as effectively against him. He doesn't fall over or anything. Do a nice big slam. And then we're just going to run. Just keep running until my abilities come back. Just no, no, no. Now we're just having a little dance. <sighs> One of the things that annoys me about Origins is the fact that you can't dodge things. Like, if somebody swings their sword at you, and then you run away, and before they hit you, you're on the other side of the map, it will still hurt you. I don't understand. Okay. That's better. A nice big slam. And then just throw a rock at him. Come on. And run! Oh. I believe he can throw rocks as well, so uh, running away from- okay. Running away from him isn't always the best option, and he does just knock you over a lot. You just get into a permanent cycle of being knocked over. Right. We're doing alright. Okay. Now just run away. Just keep running. And uh, he's gonna follow us. And now I've got a rock back, so... Please don't knock me over. There we go. Wasn't too difficult, but he is definitely the toughest one. Um, I mean, the other ones, once you've got the golem, you can just punch them and they fall over, but the ogre's a bit tough. And I believe that is this world completely finished, or it should be. Looks it, doesn't it? Yeah. Whoops. Can you move out? There we go. Uh, yes. So, so long as you go through every mouse hole and things, you shouldn't miss any of the side areas. And they are pretty linear. Um, Templar's Nightmare is a bit of a maze but uh, we'll get to that be fine right so you can see now it's unlocked and uh, it's locked little pathways so once we've done this one as well it'll unlock that one and we can go and get one of our friends uh, okay we'll go and do the templar's nightmare because that is definitely the worst one <laughs> that's the one where you're going to get lost but it's fine if you know where you're going Right. Templar's Nightmare. First thing, look at the map a lot, because there are different um, sections, and you need to figure out which one you're on. Second point, these portals, ignore them. They are there to confuse you. They will just send you in circles. There is absolutely no point to going through them. I believe if you go through this one... 
it leads you to here, which is literally just the other side of where you were. That's where we were. See? Entrance. That's where we came in. We went through a portal here-ish, and we came out there. There's another portal in here. If you go through that one, I believe it also brings you out here or there. I got so lost the first time I did this, just going through the portals and not being able to figure out where they were leading me, thinking they were leading me to different places and stuff. They, they just keep you locked here forever. Don't use them. They don't do anything. Um, right. Now, was there a mouse hole? Yes, there was. So we'll just nip through that mouse hole. Right, I've missed a book. Can I get the book as a mouse? Am I tall enough? Yes, I am. The right of annulment. That's a bad thing. Let's not read about that. Right, through the mouse hole. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> it's led me into the nightmare room. I wasn't expecting that. Right, that's an arcane horror. Um, Golem? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good idea most of the time. This is one of the things that annoys me. The arcane horrors have chain lightning. When I, oh, it's dead. Okay, that's fine. That wasn't nearly as dramatic as I thought it was going to be. Yes, the arcane horrors have chain lightning. My arcane horror does not have chain lightning. I find that very unfair. Um, yes, and that fade portal again is just there to confuse you. There is absolutely no point in going through it. So that's the mouse hole that I came through from the entrance, right? That mouse hole there led to that one. And then we'll go through this one. Right, that one led to that one. That one led to that one. So this is the one we haven't been through yet. And, oh, there's an ogre. Uh, right. So yes, you can see. So this is where we started. It's the entrance. And now we've jumped over to this one, which is second hub entrance. So they are all labelled. So long as you keep jumping back to the map, you should be able to figure out where you are. And you can see where you've been, because obviously this bit we haven't been to yet, because it isn't uncovered. And, um... Now I've got an ogre to kill, but it's fine. I did it once, I'm sure I can do it again. Oh, he could just keep headbutting me. That could work as well. Right, just punch him for heaven's sake. Punch him. There we go. He was way flimsier than the other one was. Right. Deal with this abomination. Yeah, punch him. Just, just punch, flip it, egg, punch him. He's not exactly a small target. Thank you. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. We good? We finished? Yes, marvellous. Get my health back. Right. Okay. Now, again, I think we still just ignore the portals. I think basically just ignore the portals in Templar's Nightmare. Um... I, I'm 99% sure none of them lead anywhere, but we'll find out. Uh, if we just head through... Oh, okay. What are those? More abominations? Uh, yes. I suppose it makes sense for a uh, Templar's Nightmare to be full of abominations. I've never really thought about it much before. That does kind of make sense, yes. Uh, okay. Is that the spirit door? That's the spirit door. Right. So I believe... I can't remember where this leads, but we'll find out. Ooh. Ooh, I've snuck up on some abominations. Um, you know what? I'm actually just going to nip back through. <laughs> so, um, so yes, that one led me to there. That's a shortcut into there if you want to sneak up on them. I don't massively, because like I say, I like to uh, have my enemies in front of me and sort of at a distance. I don't like being that close to them. There we go. And they're just going to explode in a minute. Very, very loudly. Yeah, there we go. Now this, so that's the most what we just came through. This... This is the bit that completely confused me the first time I played because I hadn't picked up the arcane horror at this point and I just wandered around aimlessly going through all of the portals and they never lead anywhere. Um, so just just ignore them. So the, Oh, I don't think we've had the spirit form yet. This is a spirit form, isn't he pretty? See? Right. If we just nip through. See, I don't have chain lightning. It's very unfair. 
Okay. So the arcane horror is quite flimsy. You don't really want to stay with him very long, but he does have some good abilities like Winter's Grasp, which didn't work very well, and <laughs> Crushing Prison. We can do that as well. There we go. And then we can switch back to something useful. And this is the only portal, or I, or I think the only portal that you need to go through. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see we started off here, we went through here, then we ended up here, we went through here, then we ended up here, and now we're here. If we go through that portal, I think it will take us somewhere over here, to the secret fourth one. Yes, now we're over here. So that's the only portal that you do actually need to go through. But it's pretty obvious because there's nowhere else to go. So uh, you can ignore all the other ones. And I believe, yeah, this room's about to get set on fire, so immediately go over to the Burning Man, and it can't hurt you. If you could learn to punch things at any point, that would be great. No, just keep, just any time now. There we go. Yes, and if we head through here, it's one of my favorite bits, this is. Catch me if you can. She just turns into a little mouse with purple hair. It's <laughs> the best thing. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're just gonna go and chase her. <laughs> Always makes me giggle that does. I really like that bit. The game isn't over, mortal. <laughs> yes, and would you believe it? Desire demons not very powerful when they get hit in the face with a rock. And then if we just go over and punch her. Don't! Oh, that's irritating. Yeah, all right, I'll give you that one, sweetheart. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> right, well, if we just... And then... Punch. Punch. Come on. <sighs> You're embarrassing me a little bit now. I do enjoy their sexy death animation. Anyway. And more cunning. I think cunning, the the, um, the fade is very good for cunning if you're playing as a warrior. Because if you're playing as a warrior, you're going to be putting all of your attribute points into um, strength and dexterity. And you very rarely want to be moving away from either of those two. Maybe put a few in constitution, depending on what kind of build you're going for. But generally, I just put them all into strength and dexterity, but you need cunning for uh, some of the abilities, I think, like coercion, combat tactics, I think? And uh, not combat tactics, the other one. Uh, ah, 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 hang on a minute. Combat training, that was it. I believe you need cunning for that. Do you, no, you do not need cunning for that. No, it is combat tactics you need cunning for. Hmm, maybe I was just thinking of coercion. Anyway, yes, so you need um, cunning for that. And this is a really good way of getting your cunning up without actually having to sacrifice skill points for it. So that's quite nice. Yes. So this opens up one of the nightmares where we can go and find out what companions I've brought with me because I genuinely can't remember. Oh, it's Liliana. Hey, Lil. Blessed art You're right. Thou who exist in the sight of the Maker. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. What are you doing, Liliana? Blessed, what? Who are you? I beg you, do not disturb the girl's meditations. Revere mother, I do not know this person. Please do not vex her. She needs quiet and solitude to calm her mind and heal her heart. <laughs> Are we just gonna fight the, yeah, okay. We're just gonna fight the revered mother now. Go it's all right, she was a demon anyway. And Lil's not gonna help me. She's just gonna, I've never noticed that before. Usually the companions help you, don't they? She's just gonna stand there and freak out a little bit. Okay, that's fair enough. Don't worry, I can handle it on my own. Easy peasy. Okay, that was a bit premature. Just hit him. Just hit, she has the same problem as the friggin' golem. Hit him. Hit him. There we go. Holy Mayha. She, she was a, <laughs> it's fine, Lil. Don't fall apart. It's fine. Oh, my head feels heavy. Like I've just woken up from a terrible nightmare. I believe we had some task to accomplish. Let us be on our way. Wait. What's happening to me? 
yeah, so she's just going to disappear. You don't get to keep her with you. Um, I think Leliana is the only one who properly freaks out in the Fade, as far as I can remember. I think most of the other ones, once they figure out it's a dream, they sort of snap out of it pretty quickly. Lil seems to just <laughs> properly freak out. So, I think if we head back to the Mages of Sunder, finish that one off. Alright, so it's plonked us back um, where we left off the last time, and this bit is all done. So we did all this when we were first here, then we came up here and got the golem, and it's just put us right back. So you know what, now we think about it, I have no idea why that is a massive door. Because you have to go through all of this to get to here, to get to the golem. And once you've got the golem, then you can open it. But the pedestal is here. I don't know why you would... That's weird. Anyway, um, can anybody remember what door we came through? I think we came through that one. I think it's this one. I hope it's this one anyway. Oh, that's a lot of mages. Okay. Oh, he's not armed with anything. He's just going to try and punch me. That's interesting. He's also going to heal, which is annoying. Uh, okay, I need the golem. Come on, golem. There we go. That's not very nice. Just... I cannot see what's going on. There we go. I always forget that the yeah, tactical camera is a thing. Just give him a big punch. So, you see, even other golems are really not that tough against the golem. The golem's amazing. You can just kill anything with the golem. Well, you can when he actually decides to punch them anyway. That's a massive door. I need my golem. I always need my golem. I really miss my golem when this is over. I don't quite enjoy the um, constantly switching between forms. Like, you sort of... You use the golem and you chuck a rock at someone and then while that's recharging you switch to the burning man. Things like that. I quite enjoy it. I think I found it a bit tedious the um, first few times I played it, but... You know, I was an impatient teenager back then, so now I quite enjoy it. Just flipping hit her, Jesus Christ. All right, go for the rock. There we go. That didn't kill her. I am very impressed. <laughs> now, I believe this is the... Yes, this is the golem room. There's lots of golems in these rooms. Uh, you do not have to go into all of these rooms. So there's four, four rooms. One, two, and then there's some other ones down here. You don't have to go into them. There's some codex entries in there. There might be some attribute points. I can't quite remember. Um, but you don't have to go into them. If you're getting bored or whatever, you can just sort of stealth past them. I can't remember if the doors open automatically when you get to them. But as a mouse, you could stealth past them easily. Uh, yeah, no, they don't. You can just walk past them if you're getting bored by this point. We've been going for an hour and 26 minutes at the moment, so... Half an hour to Doctor Who, I might not actually make it. I might have to watch it on catch up, but that's fine. Um, yes. Okay, yes, we've got priests and golems. I don't know why priests are hanging out with golems. Like I say, it's the fade. I should totally have aimed at the golem, not the priest. That would have been better. Okay. <laughs> That is what you call taste of your own medicine. Um, that priest is impressively tough. Like, I threw a rock at him, I punched him in the face, and he still got a quarter of his health. I do like the way that golems fall over, the way they just sort of stand there for a minute and then like, no, I'm going, I'm going. Yes, yeah, so that's the way forward. We're going to ignore that for a minute because I want to do all the rooms because I'm just like that. I don't have a rock. That's a problem. Hang on a minute. Oh, that's not very nice. He had a rock. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take one of my health potions. Because these guys are just... So, lesson here. Always take out the mages first. That's another one of my Origins tips. Because they are insanely powerful and can just do horrible things. Like heal their companions, launch incredibly powerful attacks. They just instantly turn a battle. <laughs> One of my favourite things about Origins, actually, is that a battle can be going really well. Like, you're slaughtering all the enemies, it's really easy, you've got no worries at all, and then a mage suddenly pops up and does, like, one thing. Chain lightning is a big one, and suddenly your entire party is dead. 
just because that one mage decided to get involved. <laughs> Mages are incredibly powerful in Origins. Ooh, three golems. That's fun. He's about to chuck a rock at me as well. Okay. I take your rock and I raise you a rock. Right. There we go. Got them in the end. Oh, there's something bad in it. Oh, arcane horrors. And I don't have a rock. That's bad. Um. Okay, run away. Just want my rock to come back because they're very vulnerable to my rock. They're very slow as well, luckily. I mean, I'm not exactly a marathon runner, but slow they are. Very, very slow. Oh, my rock's back. That's fine. Okay. There we go. And there's a demon through there, and I can't remember which one it is. Let's have... Let's just go through. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it's an abomination. Well, you can just get crushed. Did that work? Oh, that actually worked. Okay. And then you can get frozen, and you'll be resistant to that. That's irritating. Yeah, I feel a bit sorry for him at this point, really. Just going to punch him in the face now. There we go. And then I'm just going to cause a bit of an earthquake. And then I'm just going to punch him a bit more. Yeah, demon versus golem. Which opens up another companion. Again, I can't remember. I mean, Wynn will be in one of them because I don't kill Wynn. Not in this playthrough anyway. Oh, it's Morrigan. It'll be my girls I've got with me then, of course. Away. Away with you. I shall have no more of your pestering. I am your mother. Do you not love me? You are as much my mother as my little finger right here is the Queen of Ferelden. I know you, Fade Spirit. You cannot fool me. Are you more clever than your own dear mother? Surely such pride must be punished. There! That is for not showing respect. That is far more like it, but it is too little too late, Spirit. Tis you at last. Come and rid me of this vexatious spirit. I weary of being prodded. Yes, yeah, so Morgan knows it's a dream. Um, I have it in my head that Sten also knows it's a dream if you bring him along. Not entirely certain on that one, but uh, yes, Morgan knows that it's a dream because she's clever. Although how she couldn't escape on her own like I did, I don't know. But uh, she's apparently just been waiting here for me. Oh, slay it. And quickly. Even the true Flemeth was never as annoying as this. And now we have to fight Flemeth. <laughs> I really wish the real Flemeth was as easy as this Flemeth. <sighs> yeah, you see, Morrigan joins in. Lil was just having a bit of a freak out, apparently. And Flemeth goes down unrealistically easily. Tis about time. That was most... Wait. What is this? No, not this again. I refuse. <laughs> Sorry, Morrigan. I'll see you soon, love. Right. So this must be Wynn over here. Um, and the Burning Tower is... Well, it's not the last one we've got to do. We've got to go back to the first one as well, but that one's dead quick. Uh, Burning Tower should be quite quick as well. I think, yes, we head through there because we've done all of the... Ooh, no, there's a spirit door in there I need to go through. Hold on a minute. And that gets me some delicious cunning and some delicious constitution. And yes, I believe the demon is just right here. I think, possibly. Oh, not quite. Not quite. There's some burning people. Um, do you think they're resistant to fire? I mean, they're on fire. We could give it a go. Yes, they are resistant to fire. That's a shame. Right, it might be. Yes, it'll be through here, the demon is. Possibly. I mean, there isn't a pedestal in there. Oh, yes, there is. It just hadn't shown up yet. Okay. Um, I think it's a rage demon. So, if we just... Rage demon? Yes, so we can just freeze him. And then... Crushing prison him. And then... Throw a rock in his face. And then... Punch him in the face. 
You know what? I almost feel bad for him. We just... There we go. <laughs> Don't think he even got a hit in. And that very quickly opens up. Win. It is now 15 minutes to Doctor Who. <laughs> Don't think I'm quite going to make it. Not going to quite get it in under the two hours. Let's turn out of a golem. I don't think that's a good way of winning win over. Yeah, she is. Maker, forgive me. I failed them all. They died and I did not stop it. Yes. So here's an interesting thing about Win. Like I said before, the whole point of these nightmares is that the demon is trying to make them want to stay, trying to create something that is, you know, familiar and comfortable where they wouldn't want to leave. Even with Morrigan, it tried, it created her mother and it created home, something that she was familiar with. Wynne's nightmare is that everybody is dead and it is her fault. I, I mean, I feel like they're trying to tell us something about Wynne's psychological state of mind. I was wondering if maybe it's... I mean, Wynne is... One of the main things about Wynne is that she doesn't like to be content. She always wants to be on the move. She's always trying to, you know, look for new adventures. She doesn't want to just sit by complacently. I'm wondering if maybe it's like trying to break her will. So if she thinks that it's all her fault, she'll just kind of lose the will to live and she won't want to leave and go anywhere. That's my thought. I might be overthinking it. Um, I also find it quite funny that Morrigan immediately knew she was in the fade, but Wynne? No, Wynne's totally oblivious. use is my life now that I have failed in the task that was given me leave me to my grief I shall bury their bones scatter their ashes to the four winds and mourn their passing till I too am dead and where were you when this happened I trusted you as an ally and you were nowhere to be found Yes, and then she just starts blaming me, but uh, hopefully I could persuade her that none of this is real. I do not know what this will accomplish, but I will do this if it will satisfy you. It is difficult to focus. It feels as though something is stopping me from concentrating. I've never had so much trouble. Perhaps some time away from this place will help me think clearly. Don't leave us, Wynne. We don't want to be alone. Holy maker, stay away, foul creature. Now you've got it, there we go. Stay win. Sleep soundly in the comforting embrace of the earth. Also, apparently Connor has turned into an elf, that's interesting. Him. You belong here with us. No, 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 not yet. My task is not yet done. It is not time yet. Come, come away to your rest. Okay. This is rather more enemies than was in the other one, but there we go. Yeah, Wynne joins in as well. It's only Liliana that doesn't want to help me. Oh, for flipping out sake, just die. There we go. Right. Wynne's nearly dead as well. That's that's great. Oh, Wynne is dead. Wonderful. You're alright, Wynne. You're okay. There we go. <laughs> is it over? Thank the maker for you. Wait. What's happening? Where are you going? Nine minutes till Doctor Who. Right. And we have, I believe, just one demon left to defeat. Well, two technically, but one through here. Uh, we could talk to Neil again, but there's no point. He has nothing interesting to say. Um, okay, now, there's another spirit door somewhere, isn't there? That I believe... Yes, it's there. So if we just... Oh. He's totally cool with me turning into a uh, arcane horror as well. That doesn't freak him out in the slightest. Yes, yeah, so this spirit door, I believe, leads us to somewhere quite fun. Yes, there's a little boat. I don't know why there's a little boat, but I find it quite cute. There's also some wisps that want to kill me. That's fine. Should be able to deal with them quite easily. Well, not as easily as I thought. Uh, there we go. I think there's another one. Yes, there's another one. Just go and bash it with your shield. That should be fine. If you can catch it. Yeah, so there's just a little boat here with a little dog's head. Presumably because we're in Ferelden. Like I said, I don't know why there's a boat. I don't know if the boat represents anything in particular. But uh, it's just quite a cute little boat. And there's also some dexterity for us, which is always welcome. So back round to Nial, And I believe through this door, 
we have our demon, or we nearly have her anyway. Yes, there she is. Along with a couple of shades. Right, if we can just crush her a little bit before she causes any trouble. And then give her a quick freeze. And then golem. And uh, just ignore the shades for the minute, they're not too much trouble. And punch her in the face. There we go, nice and easy. Right. And with four minutes till Doctor Who, we have opened up the last area. So, uh, yeah, nothing else to do, really. Just go and fight the big demon. Which is not quite as easy as it sounds, even when you're a golem. But I've only died once so far, and that is because I was an idiot. So we'll see how many times I die here. What do we have here? A rebellious minion? An escaped slave? <laughs> my, my. But you do have some gall. But playtime is over. You all have to go back now. You tried to keep us apart. You led us from each other because you fear us, don't you? <laughs> you made a dangerous enemy, demon, by toying with my mind. You will not hold us, demon. We found each other in this place, and you cannot stand against us. If you go back quietly, I'll do better this time. I'll make you much happier. You wish to battle me? So be it. You will learn to bow to your betters, mortal. Right, so the game crashed. Um, it's fine, it crashed just as I was talking to the demon. I didn't get into the fight or anything. Um, which is actually pretty spot on because we'd been going for almost exactly two hours at that point and I generally find that Origins does crash after about two hours. It's done that on every PC I've ever had it on. It's just a thing that Origins does. And conveniently, it also crashed about two minutes before Doctor Who was meant to start. So, um, I just went and watched Doctor Who. Bow to your betters, mortal. Yeah, that was where it crashed last time. Looks like we're better this time. Okay, at this point, he's going to turn into lots of different things. He just goes through a cycle. So there's an ogre. Uh, I think there's, a, there's an arcane horror at the end. There's a rage demon possibly somewhere in the middle. He just goes on a cycle. Most of them are going to be fine. And then the last one is going to kill me. That's how it's going to work. Um... Mind you, I've said that several times, that things are going to kill me, and so far only one thing has, and that was me being a complete idiot. You know what? Lil, get your friggin' bow out and go and stand over there. That would be a good starting point. I completely forgot that I've now got companions with me. Ooh, Morrigan doesn't have stone fist yet. That's interesting. This is quite... What level are we even on? 11. Yeah, we're quite early. I've never even had a two-up before. Uh, you can also give Elia a quick heal just to start things off. Yeah, that wasn't good. <laughs> See? I completely forgot I had companions with me, and that would hurt them as well. So, <laughs> just heal everyone now. <laughs> Stop being a bit more conscientious. Yeah, okay. Luckily, the good thing about this is, while it's focusing on me, it's not focusing on them, and the mages are the ones who can hit harder. So, no, that's going to hit Elia. Um... So you see, that's what golems are good for, just big destruction things. See, I was about to throw a rock at him, but it would have hurt these two. You need to start thinking. <laughs> and you can heal Win, but she's, she's over there now, it's fine. Um, that did nothing at all, okay. There we go, golem dead, well, ogre dead, and... Now we've got a rage demon to take care of, and Wynn doesn't have Winter's Grasp yet. That's not helpful. Ooh, can that fit between them? Oh, I think I think that might just fit between them if neither of them move. Maybe. <laughs> See how this goes. It didn't hurt anyone. Marvellous. How did that not hurt you? You're made from fire. Just heal Morrigan quickly. We can't lose Morrigan. If we lose Morrigan, we're dead. Right, now we've got an abomination. Like I say, all of these are basically fine. For now, it's the last one because he's got friggin' chain lightning. Um, so like, be braced for the last form. For the last form, be braced. Go immediately over to win and get her to heal everyone. So I hope that recharges before then. Um, 
What was I doing? Yes. So the game crashed again. It really doesn't want me to get through this fight. I'm going to keep persevering. And abomination again. Let's see if this goes better this time. Uh, I'll just get over here. Uh, don't think that's gonna hit anyone. That hit win! Okay. <laughs> That was, that was a bad thing to do. Right, just heal win now. We don't want her to die because I really need her healing abilities later on. Um, I can't remember how many forms there are. Uh, Lil, flipping it, go over there. And get your, oh, is it going after her? Is that why? Um, what are her tactics set us? Archer, yeah, she is fine. Okay. Um, I need, I need to draw its attention. Can you just punch it? There, that's better. Now it's attacking me. Let's get Lil at a bit of a distance. That's much better. Right, Abomination gone. Shade, Shade is next. <laughs> the last one is definitely Arcane Horror. Yeah, freezed him in midair. That was nice. Oops, it is. Don't come after me. Don't come after me. That would be really bad. Focus on the golem. Uh, there we go. Oops, that's 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 not good. Uh, no, that's gonna hit. Don't hit the golem. Don't hit the golem. Right, you just stay where you are. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Run away. Run away. Right, okay, this is where we die. Um, this is the last one. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Right, you just... Switch yourself out. And... Yeah, okay, right. Definitely stop him from doing that. You're meant to be that. We're not going to be able to stop him from doing that, are we? No, we're not. Okay. Well, just... There we go. All right. Heal everyone. Quickly. Nice and quickly. Nice and quick. Okay. That's really- of all the people to die, it had to be Win. Like, if anyone could keep us alive, it would be her. Mind you, he's not looking so hot himself. And- and they're both... Right. Um... Okay, well, Morrigan's more useful than Lil, so we'll keep her alive. And then just see if you can possibly heal her before she dies. I appear to be immune to, um, like, frost and stuff in this form, so that's incredibly useful. I didn't know that. This might just come down to me and him. All right. Oh, see, they're not that immune. Um, keep Elle here alive. We need Elia. Uh, are you stuck? You're stuck, right? Okay. Oh, flipping it. <laughs> so bloody close as well. Right, we're down to Morrigan, and and you can heal yourself quickly. And yeah, this isn't gonna. <sighs> right. So, third attempt? Fourth? Can't remember. Um, at least the game didn't crash. That was a plus. Oh, don't come after Morrigan. Uh, that's, that's, that's bad. Okay, just run. Just run. Right. Look, big golem. Go and tackle the big golem. No, it really wants to come after Morrigan. Okay, there we go. That's better. Oh, is it going after Win now? That's not good. Stop going after my mages. You've been listening to my advice on how to play Dragon Age, haven't you? Um, okay, we can stop him. We can stop him. Have I just frozen Win again? Yes, I have. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, though, freezing Win seems like exactly the kind of thing Morrigan would do. Um, you know, just out of spite. Yeah, yeah, just heal her again. Just keep healing her. That's marvellous. What was after Abomination? It was Shade, wasn't it? Right, I think we've got time. If we do that, it should have regenerated by the time we've got the Shade. Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just thinking, in the last battle, I could have used the friggin' Lyrium Veins, couldn't I, to stay alive? Right, okay, this time, this time we're ready. Now wait till he starts doing his Chain Lightning. We should be- there it is! And now we're just gonna send it quickly! Did, did that- No, that was not in time. Okay, Lil, um... Uh... <laughs> right, we lost Liliana this time. That's not so bad. She's not as important. Um... 
You know what? Just punch him. <laughs> it's a pretty good solution to everything. Keep the golem alive. And then there's a blizzard coming. I forgot about the blizzard. Yeah, there's the blizzard. Marvellous. And the golem's being crushed to death. This is... This is great. This is... Right. We've almost got him, though. Like, he's so close to being dead. Um... Should I bother trying to keep the golem alive? Would that be a waste of magic? I think that might just be a total waste. Um... Okay. Alright. Just try and keep Wynn alive. Because if Wynn's alive, Wynn can bring people back, you see? Possibly. Uh, yeah, so if you bring Elliot back... I don't think she's going to be in golem form. And then if you just drink some delicious magic and then heal everyone. Um, then... I'm going to go over to Arkham Horror, actually. That would probably be the best thing. And I have no stamina. That's... Great. Right. Oh, I seem to be quite good at just punching him, though. That... There we go! Got him. I never thought, I never expected you to free yourself, to free us both. Well, you should have higher expectations. Take the litany of Adrala from my body. It will protect you from the worst of the blood magic. Yeah, Niall's dead when you get back. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone is. I think we're, like, the only ones who escaped from the Fade, actually. I cannot go with you. I have been here far too long. For you, it will have been an afternoon's nap. Your body won't have wasted away in the real world while your spirit lays in the hands of the demon. I'm not a hero. Perhaps trying to be one was foolish. I mean, to be fair, you didn't try to be one. Not really. You sort of stood there and complained and talked about how it was all doomed and we were all going to die. And that is one of my favourite options. Just, well, I suppose you did die in quite a unique manner. It is time for us both to be on our way. Remember the litany of Adrala. The circle is all that matters now. Thank you, and goodbye, friend. So, after two game crashes and two deaths, we have finally escaped the Fade in just over two hours, 20 minutes. Not bad, really, and with one health potion still left, which is very impressive, considering I started off with, like, four or something. And uh, if we go over to Niall's body, there is the Litany of Adrala, and then we can go and defeat Aldred. Which I'm not going to do, because I believe I have already taken up enough of your precious time. Uh, I have no idea if this will actually have helped anyone with getting through the Fade. I don't know how well it will have worked as a guide, if that's what you are actually looking for. Uh, really, I just wanted to show off that the Fade can actually be fun. So I hope I achieved that at the very least, because I enjoyed it, and Elia enjoyed it, and if even one other person on the entire planet enjoyed it as well, I call that victory. So on that note, I shall leave you with a close-up of Elia's beautiful, beautiful face, and I shall say farewell. I was about to say I'm going to go and watch Doctor Who now, but I've already done it, haven't I? So, um... <laughs> I suppose I'll just go and do something else instead.